what's up YouTube, Alex here, AKN95, bringing you guys another video today. This is going to be a, another anime review I wasn't able to do one this past weekend on Dragon Ball Super Episode 11. Probably one of the coolest episodes, if not the coolest episode thus far in the series. It just keeps getting in better, better and better as far as, as, far as the series progresses and, uh, you know, all the battles unfold. And I was busy, obviously, this past weekend with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Regionals, if you guys already didn't know. I was in Los Angeles for the weekend um, since last Thursday, and I never got around to making a video for this, but... I'm a little bit behind on it, but it's okay. I'll definitely be catching up this coming Monday. Um, I do start school this coming Friday at UC Davis, so um, I don't really know how how you know my schedule is going to be affected as far as videos, but I'll do my best to still bring you guys daily videos, if not every other day. Um, I'll probably stay to my you know daily videos, even if it's something small or short. I just want to get something up for you guys so you guys are entertained every single day. So um, Anyway, we're going to hop right into the anime review for episode 11, Dragon Ball Super. Now, this episode was extremely critical because it was part two. Um, likely out of three. I don't think they're going to break uh, the Beerus Super Saiyan God Goku fight into four sections or four parts, I suppose. Um, I predicted this before that they weren't going to end it after just the second episode into the fight, uh, which they didn't. Now, this episode, the reason I loved it so much was it was just raw fight. There was absolutely zero filler. There was no like little, you know, cutaways to, you know, Emperor Pilaf and his gang. There was no cut cutoffs like you know, there, there was a couple cutoffs into, you know, the Bulma's group and, like, how they're trying to, you know, work out with the flying machine. But there's, you know, that's part of the fight. Like, they're trying to go see the fight. It wasn't anything major. Um, there was really no fillers in this episode. It was just 100% of the time Goku going at it with Beerus. And I got to say, it was very cool basically getting to see Beerus and Goku kind of um, increase their power steadily to basically try and uh, bring out the best in each other. You know, Goku's trying to see 100% of Beerus's power, but he doesn't want to see it until he sees... Um, Super Saiyan God Goku's power. So I thought it was very cool. Um, even the only cutaways that I thought were weren't really fillers were uh, or partial fillers was actually uh, the partial cutaway to the Supreme Kai's, um, where the Elder Kai and you know Kabito Kai they're all pretty much just talking about how uh, Beerus is trying to bring out the best in Goku. That's why he's not showing his full power. That's why he's kind of pushing Goku constantly. Um, you know he'll kind of let him get a couple hits in. He'll make it look like he's getting hit. And then, bam, all of a sudden, he'll kind of retaliate against Goku. And then that'll just keep forcing Goku to, you know, be better and better. And some of the coolest parts in this episode that I really enjoyed were when Goku has to repel this, like, this kind of, like, ion ball-looking thing that Beerus makes. He, at first, he makes one. And then, all of a sudden, like, it's enough to basically blow up the world because Beerus and Goku are, like, really high up, like right, up, like, right at the atmosphere of the Earth, right? And... Initially, Beerus just makes one, like, in his hand, and then he's, like, playing soccer with it. Like, he's juggling it around with his feet, and then soon after, you know, he just, all of a sudden, a bunch more, like, probably, like, 50 to 100 more of these little ion ball, destructo, destructo ball type things appear behind him, and they're really small. They're, like, spherical, but they have, like, these little ion particle thingies just, like, spinning around. I don't really know what the, you know, what the, what the point of that was, but, you know, it looked really, really cool. The effects were awesome. Um, and Goku pretty much has to repel these little balls, um, of energy with the dope, one of the dopest Kamehamehas I've ever seen. Like, it was just absolutely amazing to see this. Like, the amount of creativity and art that went into this was, was phenomenal. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I think you guys will enjoy it if you guys haven't already seen the episode. If you've seen it, then you probably know what I'm talking about, but it, it was a very cool Kamehameha. So, if you guys haven't seen that, the episode in general, I highly recommend it. I always link the episode down below for you guys in the description uh with su with subtitles so you guys can watch it so uh you guys should definitely go check it out uh like i said we're kind of left on a cliff uh, a cliffhanger which if you know uh about movie crit criticism or show criticism it pretty much means where they constantly like every episode they leave you like at the edge of suspense and like what's going to happen next so um they usually most shows do that at the end of like a season but you know they did that with this episode obviously it's probably gonna be like a three-part episode um or a three-part fight but yeah, so this was the second part. We'll likely see, um, well, actually, in this episode, another thing, I, I mean, obviously, yeah, there's obviously spoilers in this little review, but another thing that I thought was interesting was we see Goku kind of get knocked out again by Beerus at one point towards the end of the episode, and Goku's, like, floating, you know, not really floating, but, like, sinking in the ocean, and he's like, you know, I'm starting, you know, why am I, like, mentally, you Goku's talking to himself, and you hear him saying, you know, like, why am I get, getting fired up despite, like, Despite, like, getting beaten and defeated by Beerus, you know, he's so strong, he's so great. And out of nowhere, 
Um, this was right after Beerus delivers, kind of, delivers kind of like a small finishing move to Goku and, you know, like I said, knocks him out into the ocean. But Goku out of nowhere just appears and not out of nowhere, but he kind of just shoots up out of the water at one point. You know, he's rejuvenated. He feels fine. He's starting to finally get a sense of all his Super Saiyan God powers. And I thought that was just really cool. I think I think they're progressing um, that the, the show very in a very interesting manner. And I think that's ultimately what the, separates this show from a lot of the other shows right now that are going on. So um, I really like this. Uh, I think the progression is fantastic. I think the 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 graphics are fantastic. I think they've definitely uh, been paying a little bit more attention to all the subtleties, you know, of their of the, you know all the drawing and artworks and whatnot. Because there was a couple episodes so far in Dragon Ball Super where they had some issues with it, and it was some of the some of the art was just very poorly done. But, you know, it's fantastic. It looks really cool right now. So we'll see what happens in the next episode. I predict in the ne next episode now that Goku's kind of, you know, shot up out of the water and basically ready to fight Beerus. Beerus is finally going to fight with, like, his true power. And Goku, kind of like in Battle of the Gods, is probably going to fail again. Um, Beerus is probably going to tell him, you know, this is only, like, 70% of my power despite me telling you it's 100. You know, they tend to do that a lot in Dragon Ball. So um, that's what I predict will probably happen. And then... Um, you know, I assume they're finally going to bring in shortly after all the other characters. Like, I guess his name is like Lord Champas or Chapas or whatever. Um, he's like another Lord of Destruction. So we'll see how Akira Toriyama continues to advance the, sh the show and the story. I think this is a fantastic episode. I'd probably give it like an 8 out of 10, honestly. Like, it was very just a ton of action in it. That's what I love. That's how I love my Dragon Ball. It was, fan it was just, that's just how I prefer it personally. And there's... And it kind of, like, the thing is, I like action when it advances the story, and, you know, that's what this episode did. So, uh, yeah, check it out. I'll link the episode down below in the description of this video. You guys should, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you guys have already seen it. I apologize for the delay of this video. Like I said, I've been on a trip, and I've just been trying to get videos out and kind of get, re get ready for school. So, um, yeah, if you guys are watching this video and you guys are fans of mine for my Yu-Gi-Oh! content, then tomorrow I will be having a top 8 deck list from the Los Angeles Regionals, a very cool, unique deck list. Um, you know, it's something you wouldn't expect. Like, it's competitive, but it, it it's definitely competitive. And it got third place at the LA Regionals. You just, you guys gotta stick around. So watch my video tomorrow, and then drop me suggestions for what video you guys would like to see on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because, um, like I said, I start school on Friday. I only have one class on Fridays, but I wanna get my videos planned out, scheduled, so I have content for you guys every single day. So, peace out, YouTube. Check out my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook fan page, all that stuff down below. I'll catch you guys out tomorrow, and uh, yeah. Remember, duelists, limits like fears are often just an illusion. See you next time, guys.